People think that Passengers is boring. Because, like, in the ship, there's going to be, like, a few endings, right? It was supposed to be this, like, weird, minimalistic... It's supposed to be dragged on, and it's supposed to be, like, a passive watch. I don't think it's meant to be, like, some thriller crap. I think it was passive, it was chill for a purpose. It only has a couple characters, and it's only in one place, and, like, that is so cool, bro. It, they don't even touch a planet. They're on the same ship the whole time, and that is just so cool. It gives us more time, more chance to connect with the characters deeply. It just makes it more emotional in the end. Did you wake me up? And just in total, it's just like chill. It's so many genres at once. Like it's like ro romance, sci-fi, tragedy. I don't know if that's a genre, but it could be interpreted in so many different genres, so many different ways. It's almost a sitcom, like, and that's the point. It's supposed to just be this sitcom, Chris waking up. Like it's not supposed to be dramatic. Like Chris just wakes up and then that's that. That's what he did. This is what he did. And then also like the, the giant ship malfunction. But I guess without that, it could have been too dry. But I've heard some restructuring where it starts with Jennifer waking up. But like that literally defeats the movie. If it was a horror like that, it would have been, trust me, it would have been more boring. But the fact that it's stylistically chosen, weirdly boring sitcom, horror, romance, sci-fi, whatever. It's meant to be like that. It's different. And that's why it's so special to me. I think Passengers and Don't Look Up are very similar in that way. They start with the opening conflict. They don't start at like some dramatic part. And that that's purposeful. Ultimately, people misinterpret the purpose of this film and what it's supposed to be. They don't get what it is. They think it's a sci-fi horror but like it's a sitcom romance and it's literally great